Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing Mr. Clean to see how well it removes bacteria from my floor. The Mr. Clean Antibacterial and Summer Citrus Scent says that it can kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria. I'm going to test this on my floor to see how well it does work. In order to test how well it works, I'm going to take some petri dishes just like this guy here and label them A, B, and C. I'm going to take some sterile swabs and swab my floor. Then I'm going to clean according to the Mr. Clean directions, swab the area again, and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. C is my control, nothing's going to go there. So let's read the directions and see how we're supposed to use Mr. Clean when using it on our floor. I went on their website and I also read the back of the label here. So we're gonna do the antibacterial floor cleaning. The directions state, to clean floors, mix one quarter cup per gallon of water. Usually no need to rinse, okay? For tough cleaning jobs, pour directly on tough soil or sponge, wipe and rinse. Okay, if, if you have finished wood, you should use diluted only. Now, it does say for disinfecting on hard, non-porous surfaces, you should apply the full strength product and let stand for 10 minutes before wiping. For highly soiled areas, you wanna clean first before you try to disinfect. Now, I don't think using this product full strength on a floor is what we're supposed to do for disinfecting, right? Because it does say for floors to dilute it a quarter cup per gallon of water. So what I'll do is I will mop with it and let it air dry. And then we'll take that after sample when everything's dried. You can use this product on other surfaces, but for right now, we're just testing it on the floor. For the mopping, I'm going to use my Joy Moop Flat Mop, which I really, really like. Now, the bucket holds about a gallon and a half of water, so I'll just up the amount of Mr. Clean from one quarter cup to three eighths of a cup. So let's see how well Mr. Clean removes bacteria from my floor. <laughs>
Now for some results. The kitchen floor, the first sample. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria and some different types too. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. I think we only have about two or three small bacterial colonies hanging around. So Mr. Clean did a good job at removing bacteria from my kitchen floor. The kitchen floor, sample number two. In the before section, we can see some bacteria there. There's different types too. And in the after section, we have three small bacterial colonies. So the Mr. Clean did a great job at removing bacteria from my kitchen floor. The bathroom floor, sample number one. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And again, we have a nice display of different types of bacteria. And in the after section, we have a visible decrease in bacteria. I think I only counted about four very tiny bacterial colonies as well as that big blob there. So I think that Mr. Clean did a great job at removing bacteria from my bathroom floor. The bathroom floor second sample. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, there's a little more than a dozen bacterial colonies there. So the Mr. Clean did a pretty good job every moving bacteria from my bathroom floor. The bonus room floor, sample number one. In the before section, well, that's not really a great sample there. We don't have a lot of bacteria in the before section. In the after section, we have some showing also. So this is the kind of sampling that I wouldn't even consider when I'm trying to make a determination if a product does a great job at removing bacteria. Bonus room sample number two. In the before section, we have about almost three dozen bacterial colonies. And in the after section, we have about half a dozen um, very small bacterial colonies. So we can definitely see a visible decrease there. So the Mr. Clean did a good job at removing bacteria from my bonus room floor. Overall, the Mr. Clean antibacterial did a good job at removing bacteria from my floor. From testing in my home, the Mr. Clean does not remove 99.9% .9 of bacteria. However, it did do a good job at decreasing the bacteria on my floors. I'm not one of those people who are trying to get no bacteria at all on their floor. They are floors, right? We try to make sure people take off their shoes when they come into my home. However, there are many times that my husband will just run in from the garage. He doesn't take his shoes off. He goes to a different room. He goes down to the basement. And so there are times when people are wearing their shoes in my home. In also bathrooms, I would expect there to be some bacteria on the bathroom floors. So using this product um, gives me some peace of mind knowing that some of the bacteria is decreased so that's a good thing. As for the scent, they call it summer citrus. Um, I, it smells like Mr. Clean to me. Um, I don't think I, well, maybe it is citrusy. Yeah, I guess it's a lemony, a chemically lemon type scent. It doesn't bother me. Um, it's not overpowering at all. It doesn't linger at all. So it really didn't bother me. Usually I get really bothered when I'm spraying um, and working in my bathroom, right? Like in the bathtub, because it's such a small enclosed space. But when I was doing the floors, mopping the floors, the scent didn't bother me at all. It does not linger at all. It does suds up pretty quickly. I was surprised that the quarter cup per gallon actually does make it really soapy and sudsy. It did remove a tremendous amount of dirt and grime from my floors. The water in the bucket afterwards was very, very dirty. So that's great. It's definitely doing a great job of picking up the dirt and grime from my floor. I will continue to use the product until it's empty. And I'm certain by the time it's empty, I'll be ready to test a new cleaner. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I'll add it to my viewer suggestion list. Or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email. That's also in the description below so that I know to check my mailbox and so that I know it is from you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.